Thank you very much for being here. Tell me your name and the name of your project. Hello, thanks for uh, having me here. My name is Alessandro, I am from the Prosium team and I work as a, a blockchain developer and specialist. That is a very precious and very valuable role. Yeah. Uh, tell me about Prosium, what does Prosium do? Well, Prosium aims uh, for one main objective. Their main objective is to achieve decentralized power distribution across multiple peers. What we are going to uh, do here is uh, target the peer-to-peer -peer market and uh, make the people to really share the energy they produce and uh, consume. So this is the name Prosume and the name of the users are the prosumers. Now, um, there are a lot of projects around the world that say that uh, they want to do that but very few that actually do that. Are you in the first category that only say, or they are in the, you are in the second category that also do? I have not the presumption to say that we are in the second category, but I will try to say that. First of all, you have to address the problems uh, in uh, this field. One of them is that the energy aggregators don't know how, may, how much energy to put every day for consumption of the people, because, uh, you know, the energy during the day is not the same. And an amount must be provided to serve all the customers before, before you know, having a, a drop down in current. So you need to be sure to serve the maximum power to all the people. With Prosume, we are going to address an optimization. Thanks to blockchain technology, we are going to address uh, another uh, kind of a payment cycle from 90, 90 days, which is the average for uh, all uh, providers, to 15 minutes, which is kind of amazing. What we are going to do is to have lower cycles so uh, energy aggregators can adapt uh, in more smart ways to uh, provide energy in a 15 minute time frame instead of 90 days. So they don't have to buy energy in bulk, for example, but they can provide it every 15 minutes and optimize a lot of their costs. Um, blockchain is about decentralization. The traditional energy production and distribution network is very centralized. So how do you help uh, or how do you accommodate these two different uh, topologies? Okay, first of all, blockchain is about decentralization. So that is, that is correct. But there are other technologies like distributed ledgers who allow to uh, parties that do not uh, uh, cooperate normally with each other to do that in a semi-decentralized way. In fact, I will not talk about centralization or decentralization. I would rather talk about degrees of centralization or degrees of decentralization. In depends on uh, what you want to say. So uh, solutions like ours are uh, private networks. So the first prototype is um, uh, a fork of uh, the BitShare blockchain which uh, allows us to track the consumptions and the productions of energy. We plan to move to Hyperledger Fabric because it's faster and allows for a more granular access to data. Mm, what we aim to do is to create a consortium of those kind of aggregators and companies so they can cooperate in a sort of uh, decentralized way but always keeping some central point of uh, uh, failure, which are, for example, the authorities, because we must not uh, forget that uh, we have governments who must uh, regulate uh, our markets and they must be able to see and act on these markets. Um, you already have uh, a, a shipping device, is that correct? Can you describe what it does and what are the advantages of it? Yeah, we have a, a, a product in place already, which is uh, the Eugenio, which is a, a, an IoT device uh, made by Evolvere, a company uh, from Naples, where, uh, which enabled us to uh, partner with and uh, deliver this IoT device to over 3,000 of uh, home around uh, Italy. Those houses are powered by solar panels, so it's even green energy. And this is the perfect use case for our approach 
because every house produces and consumes energy and they uh, share, resell and trade their energy in a peer-to-peer -peer market. Currently, it's not peer-to-peer -peer completely because uh, of uh, the Italian regulations, but it's going to be. So currently, uh, it is sold back to the grid Yes. According to tariffs that are set by the, the regulators. Exactly. But you expect that uh, the marketplace will be further liberalized. Yes. And then uh, if you have excess energy, I will be able to buy it from you. And there will be a marketplace for the energy where the prices will be very dynamic according to supply and demand. Yeah. And also this will make the price be more fair because there is no central point of deciding the price. So people can choose where to buy the energy. And soon also people can, when the uh, accumulators of power will be available through every node, they will be also able to store it and trade it later. Um, as a matter of fact, um, uh, many people, not enough maybe, are uh, trying to um, work hard to make these accumulators of power uh, to be available and deployed in as large numbers uh, as possible. And they are called electric cars. Uh, and uh, the batteries of electric cars, at least until such time that they will be uh, uh, self-driving, are sitting idle 20 hours a day, and they perfectly represent the storage mechanism that enables to uh, not only produce, but to uh, keep the energy available to be um, uh, to be then consumed when it is most needed and as a yeah. consequence most valuable. Yeah, uh, exactly. Is your architecture ready to take advantage of that and are you already planning for when electric cars are going to be in every home? Well, first of all, I want to open a parenthesis about electric, electric cars. Okay. Uh, with electric cars, we currently have a, like a sort of a problem, you know, because, uh, okay, now we have green energy, but in reality, we are moving the, you know, gasoline to the um, uh, industries who produce the power. And uh, this is, I think it's a little step, but something more has to be done because uh, we need to uh, be able to um, inject into our cars green energy. So we must be able to choose where to buy the energy. And then we fall back to our situation where we can choose where to buy our energy in a peer-to-peer -peer market. So uh, there has to be a, a green uh, energy generation, uh, a, a free energy distribution, and then a green energy storage, Yes. Uh, which is represented then by the cars. Yes. This is the ideal model we are going to pursue, mm -hmm. and we are going to... Uh, try to develop. So what are the next steps that you are planning, new features that you are introducing on the platform? Okay, so uh, the current set of data we are going to uh, collect will allow us to have uh, big data clusters, which will be available for analysis. And uh, this will dr drive to an even more optimization of costs we will have the as I said, the decentralization of markets, and uh, for sure, I think uh, we will we are going to disrupt the energy disrupt the energy industry. Wonderful! Congratulations for your progress so far. Thank you very Good much luck for the next steps. Thank you. Thank you very, you very much. much.